I did have a diagnosis of radiation necrosis. And it was, what are we going to do now to stop the necrosis? Before I started HBO, I was able to see my CAT scan that I had done just before. And the doctor showed me where um, the necrosis was and what they referred to as fat stranding they could see and um, the damage that was done. And then right at the end of my HBO, I had another CAT scan. My doctor was actually looked at the screen and was just amazed and he's, your CAT scan is clear. The goal of hyperbaric oxygen therapy is to get patients back to the quality of life that they were living before their chronic symptoms showed up. Patients who have received hyperbaric oxygen therapy in the past have reported uh, decreased pain, decreased bleeding, and healing of chronic ulcers, internal and external. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is delivering 100% oxygen under pressure. This helps with healing chronic wounds, either wounds inside your body or wounds on the outside. It's important for patients who have B cancer uh, to know that they don't have to live with the side effects of that radiation treatment, that there is a treatment option that might help improve their quality of life. You can start having signs uh, of radiation injury shortly after you finish your radiation treatment, but you can also start seeing those side effects of the radiation 20 years or even longer after that radiation. It can be really hard to tell if that chronic problem that you're having, that pain, the bleeding in your bladder, um, if it was from the radiation that you received 20 years prior. So it's important for patients who have had that um, radiation history to talk to your provider about symptoms that you're having um, and advocate for yourself for treatment. When you come in, we just go through, we get your vitals, we get you ready to go, we go through a checklist. Um, I wanna make sure you're safe and we put you in there and you watch TV and you just breathe. The expectation is that you will come here five days a week. We are hoping for two and a half hours of your time and that can be for six to eight weeks. And we do keep in mind that they've already had a long medical journey already. So if there's other things that we can do to make them more comfortable while they're getting their treatments, that's hugely important. As a patient, once you're in the chamber, it shouldn't feel any different than if you were at home on a slightly uncomfortable couch and you don't get to hold the remote. There's somebody in here with you at all times and your job in there is to breathe normally. You can nap, you can watch TV, movies, listen to CDs, whatever it takes to get through the treatment. I get this opportunity to spend time with my patients. First week is always clunky, and then after that, you get to know each other, and that's where it gets good. That's what I get excited about. That's why I show up every day. You get to learn so much about the patient and what matters to them, and ultimately, when you're looking at them, you want to find what their real goal is. What do you really want out of this therapy? Because that's what I want for you. The first thing to do is reach out. Give us a call. We can help guide you if you are an appropriate patient. Reach out to your provider as well and advocate for yourself. Push for it.